the whole point of this video is to talk about some of our differences in the cycling community among the people who call themselves advocates. So you have people who are very strict about wanting to have more infrastructure in their areas or oftentimes they have the opinion that there's no bad cycling infrastructure and that they often advocate for protected lanes in almost every instance that they are involved. Then you have people who are vehicular cyclist advocates and they advocate for cyclists to use the infrastructure that's already available, such as the road. They usually focus on things like full lane use, but they also have education about how to properly use a bike lane or a shoulder, even oftentimes a sidewalk, if that is what is the safe method to use. So we come to this point where there's a, a range in, in between those two. So most infrastructure advocates recognize the value of vehicular cycling but they often argue that it's only for the strong and the fearless and they discount the fact that many other people are able to use vehicular cycling to their benefit and then you have vehicular cyclists and they recognize the desire to be separate from motor vehicles but often point out the visibility of the cyclist is crucial for preventing collisions so what is the common ground that we all have we're all fighting for safety if safety isn't your number one one goal then I question your advocacy. Most people like to have a certain level of bike specific infrastructure. Feeling safe is important to people but I've found that feeling safe and being safe are not always the same thing. My experience is mostly rural and suburban cycling and vehicular cycling changed my world guided me towards a safer sustained method of dealing with these situations. Having vehicular cycling skills and knowledge allow me to cycle anywhere. And I do appreciate good cycling infrastructure. But bike lanes for bike lane's sake isn't always safe. This is evident by the amount of sidewalk riding in the presence of a bike lane. People just don't feel safe even with a bike lane in many situations. And they recognize the conflicts that are there. Respectful disagreements are good and it furthers our knowledge of others and their situations. Having an open mind and avoiding personal insults is my personal goal. I want to listen to everyone's situation. The insults of calling people gutter queens and things like that is something I have done in the past. I will say I have thrown out my share of insults and I've had all of the, other, the insults towards vehicular cyclists tossed at me. I don't really ever take it personal, but I do recognize that those things don't help us in any way. When we are starting to feel passionate about our advocacy, that we stop for a moment before the insults start to fly and recognize that some that sometimes we are not necessarily speaking in the same way. Thanks for listening and please subscribe if you like this content and have a great day.